What's up guys, I have a uh, knife review for you today of the Best Tech Grampus and that is this knife here and it is um, on loan from Stasa23 so big thanks to him for let, giving me the chance to check this out wouldn't have been able to do that without without him so appreciate that let's dive right into it let's first uh, talk about the blade and um, I really like the blade shape here it is a a nice drop point with a with a, a high uh, flat grind um, a sludge a swedge along the top and it is made out of D2 and I thought we could do some give you guys start giving you guys the thickness so the stock thickness is 0.13 and then going down to the thinnest part of the blade point oh two so that's not it's hard to do behind the camera let me try to get closer to it all right that's it right there so goes down pretty good it is a excuse the noise it is a three almost a three and a half inch blade there so that is the blade. I do I do like the uh, blade shape, and D2 is a good choice. Um, deployment is by is by a flipper tab only for this knife, and the action is good. Um, it's very strong detent, and you can see there the detent detent ball stick does stick out. Disengage, you do have a, a cutout for your thumb. This is a very thick steel liner. They even had to do a little relief cut. But it is harder to disengage, so that keeps the, um, the lock bar strength on it a lot. Um, this is a, in my opinion, a hard use knife. And um, it with the with the glass breaker on here it's almost like a um first responder kind of knife with the blade shape too uh, or with the the kind of blade shape it is um you know can be easy to to cut seat belts with without necessarily cutting cutting you it does remind me of the uh the lion steel is it a lion steel i could, i'll put a picture up um right here of the knife that it reminds me of and it's another hard use type of knife but yeah look, look at the handle thickness we can do the handle thickness too is over half an inch so um it is does fill up your hands a lot um the value this is a good value for, i think for what you're getting and i'll again i'll put the uh price up right here of the current price that i found of it and but for D2 blade, um, G10 handles, um, it is a, it is a good value. So the G10 handles goes into ergo. So I really like the ergos on this is, are very good. You can get your whole hand on here. Um, I like how this swells a little bit. This this handle is a very a very good shape. It reminds me almost of a fixed blade handle, but. Um, and the jimping, there's some right here. I would have liked it to be a little higher, but that's just my hand. Like, if the jimping was right here, that would fit That would fit my hand better. But uh, it's back, which is not that big of a deal. But it would be more effective if it was up here. Um, so the ergos are very good, as you can see. You can get all your hands. Like I said, this is, with the thickness of the liners, the thickness of the G10, this you can tell this knife is built um, to do some work and let's look at the pocket clip so pocket clip is halfway decent it does let you let it ride pretty deep in your pocket which is good of course you do have this sticking out so I mean if you could sand that down that would even be better, but like I said, this 
to me this is almost like a first responder knife you have the glass breaker you know and then you have the blade shape that lends itself good to you know cutting clothes cutting seat belts whatever you need and the last category is the weight so let's see and five ounce knife so it is a little chunky and so it is 5.1 ounces so you know you're getting it's all stainless steel construction thicker blade stock so um i like this knife for the ergos and if you had a job that you would need a glass breaker um and a blade shape like this like a like a police officer or something i would recommend this knife but uh Pretty cool knife. The texturing on the G10 is good, again, for the ergos. The fact that they're using G10 and not the plastic uh, is good. Um, the only things I would have liked to see is maybe this easier to disengage. It doesn't need to be that strong because it's like... Oh, and there's no jimping on this flipper tab, I forgot. So your hand, your finger can f slip off because of how hard it is to deploy. but. Other than that, I like the knife. Uh, I the highlight for me is the handle. I really like the handle shape. Um, it just looks really cool. That cut out for your finger, it's really comfortable. A little palm swell, and then a little pommel at the end there. So good job on the handle. I really like that. But that's all I have. So, And I have one more knife that I'm going to re be reviewing from... Uh, Stasa 23, and I'll be doing that uh, shortly. So stay tuned, guys. Take care. Bye.